essence. Today I'm going to talk about another topic which is um, therapy techniques and it's one in particular which is called systematic desensitization. I have to speak, speak and slowly say that because I get tongue tied. <laughs> but anyway, Senses, systematic desensitizing, I'm going to say desensitizing, is a behavior therapy that is based on the um, class um, based on classical tradition. Oftentimes, this particular technique is used to um, help and assist p uh, clients on different phobias or fears that they may face. These fears can range from um, so being scared of high of high places, uh, being afraid of height, being afraid of being on a plane. You know, a lot of times that might cause a problem for folks. Another thing might be being afraid of a particular animal, such as snakes, or some people are afraid of dogs because of a past experience they may have had when they were a child, or being afraid of water. Uh, some people might have been afraid of water because they might have had a negative, a negative experience when growing up as a child and might have almost drowned or something. And sometimes they hold these phobias, which can some oftentimes interfere with daily li living or um, accomplishing different goals in, in life. So a lot of times um, some people go to therapy to get uh, assistance and um, to get help in overcoming their fears. But anyway... It's um, pretty much systematic desensitizing is a foundational root of counter conditioning. This type of behavior technique works on reducing anxiety by linking negative stimuli with positive outcome. So it helps alleviate the problem of feeling stress, uh, fear, anxiety, and so uh, they come up with different techniques to get you to overcome the uh, identifying a certain object or an animal as a threat with um, replacing it with something more positive. Uh, so you can gradually um, get to the point where it's no longer as much of a problem or a barrier that keeps you from being able to um, overcome different obstacles or, um, or reaching certain goals and milestones in life. So um, during this um, theory was created or during with WHOOP um, back in the 1950s and uh, it helps to relieve the fear um, and, and reacting and reducing the reaction of different phobias. Uh, Oftentimes, these phobias reactions are replaced with conditional stimuli, eventually leading to uh, counter conditioning. And um, of course, if y'all want to follow along with me, you can go to my Psychology Essence page. I have the same article that I've written a while back, and it pretty much goes over the different steps, uh, the three basic steps to how different counselors or uh, practitioners, clinicians may use to help people who are overcoming or facing different phobias. The first uh, step to the treatment is that the person learns to how to relax. They may learn different breathing exercises, um, learning how to meditate and yoga. Um, the, that helps to calm them and to give them a sense of, of feeling calm. The um, other thing that a person may do, a client, um, a therapist, I mean to say, uh, psychotherapists may do is to develop a fear ranking uh, system starting with the stimuli creating least amount anxiety or fear and leading up to the thing that leads to the highest level of fear so it's like for example if you're afraid of spiders they might um, may show you a picture of a spider you know and then maybe uh, Later on, they might show you a video of a spider and then maybe gradually work on getting you to look at the spider in a room 
and then maybe you get to the point where you can be close to the spire without being scared so i'm just giving you an example of the gradual steps towards overcoming the particular phobia and this step is critical to provide foundation for the therapy um, treatment and of course the last step is that the patient work up the levels of ranks and starting with the least fearful uh, stimuli through the use of relaxation strategies and techniques which I just went over which is the yoga and the meditation as an example of how um, a client may use relaxation uh, techniques to overcome their particular fear as they overcome their uh, fear level they were uh, tackle and con conquer the nets and so you know, as you, it's just like a steady step by step pace of going up and up and up until you reach your goal. But if um, it says clients regress, and that happens sometimes, client might regress. And um, like, for example, I showed you about the spider. They went, they showed, you know, they overcame seeing the spider on a picture. And then um, oh, they overcame the fear of seeing the spider on the video. But then they see the spider in person, they 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 start back and regressing and freaking out. They have to go back to the back to the previous step, which is showing the video, to get the person to calm down. So and and so and then they gradually get them to overcome the video and then try again. So it's like a, a continual process until the person eventually overcome the anxiety or stress of feeling fearful of certain objects or things that are um, events or occurrences that may occur in one's life so that's pretty much it in a nutshell and you i will have a link to this particular article um below if you have any questions feel free to uh, list them below and um I look forward to hearing from you guys. Till next time, peace. And remember you guys to do your very best.